When you do leave, I want you to take your mother with you. You're in my locker? Yeah. I but... made my boundaries clear when we talked earlier. I know, but I bought Eckert's for the staff, and I knew you had an important surgery today. I just wanted to make sure you had everything you needed for your pre-op routine. I was trying to be supportive. Oh, I appreciate that, but I, I don't want us misunderstanding each other, okay? Okay. I'll throw it away. It'll be like it never happened. No, I already took a blanket. Relax. It's nothing I haven't seen before. But that mole's new. You should probably get it checked out. The nurses just told me that the transplant team are going to prep your mom for surgery right now, so um, if there's anything that you want to say to your mom before surgery, now's the time. Hi, Mom. It's me, Rocco. Your hands are sticky. Go wash them. I really like syrup. No kidding. I went outside the door for you if you want. I'll time you. I never time her, but if I don't say that, she'll be in there forever. You're a really good big brother, you know that? I mean, I'm the oldest. Kind of my job. Doesn't mean that it's easy. Your sister can be a little, a lot. But every time she needs you, you step up. You mean today? I mean every day. I think you're awesome. And so does your mom. He's gotten so big. I know. I wonder if she'll even recognize him when she wakes up. I've had that same thought, too. I mean, he was just a kid when she had that accident and went into the coma. He's had to spend so much time without her. I brought this for you. We had our first cross-country meet of the season, and I won. Cross country, it's all about endurance. Sometimes I feel like I'm not gonna make it. I never give up. I think I got that from you. You're so close, Mom. Don't give up now.